here's another simulation, again using the computer science environment provided by the Khan Academy. And this simulation simulates a, a rope that can carry a wave. So these buttons here, they drive one end of the string up and down. And then we can also do the same for the other side. And then we can send these waves at each other and watch them interfere. And, and also on the right side, we can put these barriers in place and watch watch these wave pulses interact with the barrier and, and be reflected back. And then for the left side, there's this special button, specially made for a custom wave. And so there's this section of code here that, that allows you to change the custom wave. And the wave I've chosen is, or the, the function I've chosen to drive my custom wave is, is just the sum of two different sine waves. So we have this you know, this wobbly looking thing happening and you can see how it interacts with, with different things. And so you can put any function you want here. It should be periodic, otherwise you'll find that your your wave just sort of ends up running off the screen, or your rope runs off the screen. But other than that, the sky is the limit. And last I want to mention that these triangle waves and these square waves aren't very realistic for, for a rope, but they are actually pretty common and pretty useful in electronic circuits. So, um, and they follow the same rules as far as reflection and and interference. So, and they're one more thing to play with that looks kind of neat. So, I decided to add that in there. So, hopefully, you'll find this amusing for at least a few minutes and and maybe help your intuition about how waves interact with each other.